Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. It is time for the Big Access Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome on into the Big Access Podcast. My name is Brock Benson. I am the host and the director of marketing over here at ProDataKey. And today we have another dealer partner that we are really excited to have on with us. He's going to talk to us all about ProDataKey, why they chose to use ProDataKey, and about some installations that they have recently done as well. So this is going to be a great episode. Uh, and I want to go ahead and introduce our, our guest now. Uh, Brian Akerley with A and B Lock and Security. Brian, thank you so much for joining us today, buddy. Thanks, Brock. We're happy to be here. So, for those of you guys who follow Pro Data Key, you'll on our social media platforms like uh, like our Instagram, we do a thing called Wired Up Wednesday, that where we just feature different installations that have been you know spread throughout the country and that have been installed all over the place. And Brian over here is very good at posting a lot of his photos out there to social media and tagging Pro Data Key in it. And so we have actually shared his installations quite a bit. So for those of you guys who follow us on Instagram, you guys have probably seen a lot of Brian's work. He does a really good job um, on his installations. And he's he's really a pretty dang good ambassador for PDK. We love having him uh, you know, on this podcast, but we also love all the support that he pushes uh, on social media. So thank you there, buddy. <laughs> So, Brian, tell me a little bit more about A and B Lock and Security. You know, who who are you guys? What are you guys all about? Let's go from there. Uh, yeah. So, uh, started uh, about thirty five years ago. Um, I'm fourth generation locksmith. Um, my father started this company. Uh, really, were was a traditional locksmith company up until maybe about fifteen years ago. Uh, we started to get into a little bit of access control. Um, really unbeknownst to my father's uh, liking. Um, he thought that was always the security guy's world. Yeah. We started with basic, basic, simple, uh, single keypad systems, worked our way up to the network um, systems. And then years later, uh, got into the cloud stuff. Uh, we've been selling PDK for about four years. Uh, we do everything from doors, frames, uh, handicap operators, full locksmith, and full low voltage, Um, a lot of access, cameras, structured cabling, um, and getting a little bit into the fiber optic world now. So uh, pretty diverse. Um, We have a fantastic crew of guys uh, throughout New Hampshire and uh, Southern Maine. That's really cool. So you you were talking about how you guys were a locksmith and then you you slowly transitioned to being able to add more things out there, right? Like the structured cabling, the access control, the low voltage side, which traditionally has not been something that locksmiths do focus on. And so you had mentioned your dad was kind of skeptical at first, but uh, what kind of made you guys ultimately make that jump? We were doing a lot of hardware installation um, for other security companies. We kept getting asked. We were in a lot of commercial facilities and one thing led to another and we said, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. And then we learn a little more and I have no formal training on it except uh, learning it in the field. And I've been doing low voltage since probably about 15 years now, since I was about 17. And it's been uh, it's been a fun road and we we're growing and uh, uh, we really love what we do. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, so so when you guys were, you know, kind of outreaching into the low voltage space and looking to add access control as an offering, uh, you know, obviously you guys have found Pro Data Key and you guys install a lot of Pro Data Key. What is the reason why you picked Pro Data Key to be one of your main access controls offerings? Yeah, so uh, one of the big things was we had seen it in some of our sales catalogs. Uh, we hadn't purchased it yet and we had a actually a customer of ours, longstanding, said, called us and said, hey, we just bought a bunch of equipment from the fire alarm installer, which was PDK. Um, they weren't comfortable doing access control like they thought. So they said, Hey, will you install it? We installed it. We supported the system and, uh, fell in love pretty much day one. Um, and that leaps and bounds with the product since then. And that got us into pushing the next product and the next uh, site. And it has snowballed, uh, since, since that. So. That's awesome. Yeah, it seems like, uh, you know, it, it seems very frequently you guys are tagging us in a new installation that you guys are working on. And so it's really fun to be able to see 
you know, what you guys started off as and now what you guys are doing, because it's very clear that you've got a lot of clients up there who want to have access control installed at the facility. And so, uh, with ProDataKey, uh, you know, kind of tell me some of the your favorite features that you guys have and uh, reasons why you continuously stick with ProDataKey as that offering. Uh, big things: the mobile forward application, um, the PDKIO um, app is hands down. I mean, every training session or sales meeting, I flip my phone around. I said, "Hey, this is what you can do." We unlock a demo site. It's live it pretty much closes of a deal. Um, the stability of the hardware in the cloud, always a uh, always a concern for many people between the security and the stability. Um, I mean, the up rate uh, is, is fantastic. And usually uh, if there is an issue, it's local to the site or the ISP in the area. So it's not on the PDKN. Um, the third reason it really should be number one is the tech support. <laughs> we have a lot of people bring up the tech support on the podcast. That is for sure. We it, we love it. It's fantastic. And when I'm with a customer sitting in a server room and I make a phone call and it rings three times and I get one of you guys, uh, you know, one sitting in Utah, people love that too. Um, and the, it's, it's quick, it's efficient, it's resolved. I hang up the phone and I'm like, that's it. And that's really what people are paying for uh, outside of the installation side. Yeah, that is. And that is a really important thing that a lot of people don't realize, right, is, you know, there, there's a lot of manufacturers out there who do produce some good products and, and have a good, you know, interface and a good experience there. But it's really, you know, what kind of support are you going to be getting? And whether that's tech support or whether that's sales support, uh, system design assistance, anything like that, that's really where I think PDK comes and stands out. Right. We are partner fanatics over here. We make sure that you guys have everything that you need to be successful. And so some of the ways that we do that with the tech support, like you're mentioning, is making sure that we're answering calls very fast. We're unique in this industry. We are not one of those, uh, you know, one of those manufacturers who has it where you call in, you leave a message. We're going to call you back within, you know, the next 24 hours. That's not us. We answer 80 percent of our phone calls within 20 seconds or less uh, because it's a stressful situation when you have to call. Uh, tech support, and especially when there's an end user breathing down the back of your neck, right? <laughs> it's it's huge. And then the other cool thing is we also strive to figure out and have a first call resolution within seven minutes. So that way your call is automatically answered and then your situation is taken care of within seven minutes. That's a pretty big deal. We want to make sure that you guys are not losing a bunch of time when you're doing these installations. So tell me a little bit, Brian, about a PDK install that you guys were just recently working on. Um, and tell me kind of why the end user chose to go with you guys, why the end user ultimately chose PDK, and uh, and how everything went with that installation. Yeah, so uh, we have a customer, uh, multi-location, large real estate customer. Uh, they currently had two or three locations um, using PDK. Um, Almost all of those had been taken over from the original premise-based system. We are constantly having uh, callbacks and network issues. We swapped a new site to PDK. They quickly updated their other two locations. Um, with this new construction project, uh, mixed use commercial with residential above, um, we ended up adding uh, just about nine doors to it. Everything in their office, uh, we were able to partition the system for different control of different uh, zones in the building. We also added the residential doors, which they loved. Um, and it, it was a flawless install. Uh, we got in there uh, right in the nick of time, kind of got brought in late to the game, uh, but beat sheetrock. We got everything uh, cabled and uh, got everything integrated uh, as, as they needed. We had a nice big server room and plenty of space. So it was pretty much a, a design build and we got to run with it as we see fit. So it was a fantastic for the team. That's cool. I want to talk a little bit more about the partitions that you had mentioned there. So partitions is a feature that not a lot of dealers utilize or that they, they know about. And it's a really cool feature because it lets you break the system out into smaller systems. So if you do have like suites, you can go ahead and have suite A manage a certain set of doors. Suite B, you can set another manager who can manage a, another set of doors. Uh, so it basically, you know, creates multiple systems 
but they're all managed by one master system. So tell me a little bit more about how did you partition this system out? So this was actually the first one we partitioned. Um, so I've been seeing the feature for years and um, this worked out well because they the management company in this one, uh, which is still under the umbrella of the end user, they're managing the whole site. And then the realty, um, the realtor actually is managing their few doors um, because they add such a high volume of users versus the two other suites in the residential. So um, it kind of takes the real pressure off of the uh, property manager from adding all the individual realtors due to turnover. Yeah. Um, they push that into their plate and we it's been working flawlessly. So it's great. That's really cool to hear. Well, it sounds like that's an awesome installation and we're glad to hear that the end users loving it, uh, that they, they're, you know, that you guys are loving the installation as well and that you guys are really utilizing a lot of the features that PDK offers. Uh, so it's really cool. Brian, we are just about out of time. Uh, so, but I wanted to thank you again for jumping on to the Big Access podcast. It's been a great episode and I'm really excited to share this with everybody and, uh, you know, have you guys tell your story a little bit on it. So thank you again, Brian, for jumping on. Uh, it's, it's been fantastic. Excellent, Brock. We really appreciate it. And uh, everyone uh, at PDK and uh, our sales rep, Paul Velasky, who is... Oh, such a stud, right? Such a stud guy. Yeah. So Paul, if you're watching this, shout out to you, man. And uh, so thank you again for jumping on. For those of you guys who are listening to the podcast, make sure you subscribe to it. Give it a five-star rating. Uh, and then also be sure to leave us a comment and let us know if there's something specific that you guys are looking to learn as well. Uh, but anyways, go ahead and subscribe. Five stars. And we will go ahead and talk to you guys next time. Thank you.